Hi guys, uh, welcome to this unboxing today. I know it's 2019 and I'm buying DVDs. The reason why I'm buying DVDs is because obviously, if you don't know or do know, I'll tell you anyway. Basically, when you look around the internet today, you're more likely to see the new stuff being released on Blu ray. And that's saying something, because there's numerous of comedy shows that I grew up watching, but it's only on DVD format. I can't stress enough, this is why I've bought this box set. And yet, every time when I've seen it in the past, it's between 65 to 70 pounds just for a box set. And it's a steep price, but it's a fantastic thing to have in my comedy collection. Because I've got some great comedies. I've got like all the two Ronnie's episodes. Ain't it half heart mom. Step toe and son. Bless this house. Absolutely fabulous. Um, are you being served? Heidi high. All the Malcolm and Wise BBC years. Dad's army. I'm just looking at my collection. Last in the summer wine. I've completed that. Obviously you've seen... Uh, I think I did a video back in the day. If you want to do is some way or form on the back catalog of my videos. If I haven't, I do apologise. I've got um, you rang my lord, um, George Mildred. I already met. I think I mentioned Steptoe and Son. Only Fools and Horses. You name it, I've got it so far. And I was looking for this and another box set that's on its way, I ordered that two days afterwards, so hopefully that could be coming Monday. So with this box set, I was blown away with it, it was less than £30. You know, and like I said on my previous videos, when it comes to Blu-rays, I spend £5 per Blu-ray, you know, like movie, box sets don't count. When you've got comedy gold like this, Hands down, anyone that's a vintage collector of comedies would love this, let alone um, anyone that enjoys British comedies, quite honestly. I think this one, one of the comedies that has tested the test of time, that's why I looked for it. Oh yeah, I've even got Bottom and the Young Ones, you know, for the modern sort of era of comedy. You know, I've, I've obviously got all the episodes of French and Saunders. I forgot to mention those. That's just named but a few that I've got in my collection. That I've even men about the house, I can just whip that off the shelf like that. And show you that one. But most of the point is I love British classic comedies. It's very rare that I actually find something this day and age very funny. Yeah, Mrs. Brown's Boys stereotypical, but at least one thing with Mrs. Brown's Boys it's got that sort of old vintage twist to it. You know, it's got that old sort of comedy that I grew up watching. I was an 80s kid and we were blessed to have classic comedies, you know, and obviously I grew up watching them because of my grandparents watching them, my mum watching them, you know, it's, it's, it's moving as it says, you know, because obviously I'm passionate about classic comedies, you know, I'd love to go to conventions, etc. like that if they had classic comedians and that lot. I missed out on the Carry On convention they actually had in London. I didn't know about it until I saw someone's vlog recently. That's saying something. Um, but, you know how it is. And it's sad to see another classic comedy legend go. Mr. Bucket Richard from Keeping Up Appearances. Rest in peace. I'm going to do a direct de dedicated video to him, but I thought I'd mention it on this one. So, this is another set that I'm, I'm bloody glad that I've actually got in my collection. And I'm looking forward to having the next one that's on its way. And I've already opened it, but the only downside about these guys don't like when they have the open thing like that. I thought they wouldn't have that, but you can't win them all, can you? So, more to the point why you tuned in. 
I'm looking for more box sets as well towards classic comedies. I've not added anything over a year now towards it. So, it is. Sykes. Classic, classic comedy. Sykes. Hands down. The, just the chemistry that Hattie Jakes actually had with um, Eric Sykes in this. She plays his sister. It's just funny, funny, funny. Just comedy. It's just comedy at its best. It says it is best. It says it on the back. I do apologize. I am dyslexic, but I try and read as best as I can, okay? It says comedy genius Eric Sykes along with Hattie Jakes. Uh, the complete run of the classic show it showcases the slight sense of humour towards. Ah, oh, screw it! I like you freeze frame it so you can read it. I get nervous when I read on camera. That's why I never read anything. I just do everything up here. What have I got up here? To be honest, but. Yeah, I can't believe I've actually added that. Another one of those chunky cases I do not like. But I've noticed, like, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I've noticed with the old stuff, like on the buses, that I've... Oh, yeah, I've got on the buses in my collection. And Blackadder. <laughs> you know, um, when you look at the old stuff, they don't get the Blu-ray treatment as of yet. You know, I know Doctor Who and that lot are slowly getting it, but this is a 12 disc set, by the way. So, that's what I mean, it's like, you look at, I think the older stuff should get a Blu-ray treatment, you know, by now. You know, BBC are already getting loads of our money through our TV licenses here in the United Kingdom. That's technically who we're paying for. ITV pays for itself. Um, but you look at the way things are, and I look at my collection, and I think a load of them deserve a Blu ray box set. You know, somewhere else for me. Even, it might be expensive, but it's still worth it to people that watch classic comedies. You know, Ain't It Half Hot Mum? That's another one would be a fantastic Blu ray box set. Welcome and Wise, the BBC collection. That should deserve a box set. Last in the Summer Wine, even though that's cost me a would have cost me a lot of money. I got it by fluke because they put Last in the Summer Vine in the title. Luckily enough, I spotted that. I worked that all for less than fifty quid, including postage off eBay. You know, the complete lot, every every single episode. Um, bless this house, that deserves one. On the buses, only fools and horses. People would lap these up hands down on Blu-ray. I know a lot of people would. Heidi High, Blackadder, Dad's Army for stars as well. You know, I'm just looking at my collection. I'm just rolling off names. I know, but still, it's just fantastic to have these. So I've got. I don't like the chunky case idea. It's just lazy. It'd be nice if it had like fold outs ones, you know, like with more sort of pictures from the show and everything. You know what they used to make, you know, when it was like on certain things, certain shows. And obviously, wrestling used to do that. Now they're putting these sort of chunky cases, don't they? But anyway, um, at some point, when I do get my own set up, I will be converting them to Blu ray. And that's my honest, my honest saying. I will be doing that for my own benefit, for not for sale. But Terry and June, that's another show, show that I've got complete. You know, you've seen the video on my channel. But anyway, that's enough of that. But anyway, guys, thank you ever so much for tuning in today. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. One minute. <laughs> do apologize about that i got a cold i'm not going to say it, but still anyway guys thank you ever so much for tuning in as always until next time catch you guys soon